Question 31, it says factor completely. So look at this question here. Whenever you see the words factor completely, that means first you are looking for a GCF or a greatest common factor that you can pull out of each term. In order to pull out the, the greatest common factor, we're going to have to think about the pieces that make up each term. So let's look at a 4x cubed. How do we make a 4x cubed? We have a 4 and an x cubed. How do we break down an x cubed? We have x times x times x. Okay. And then now let's look at a 49x. How do we make a 49x? 7 times 7, or 49, right? That makes the 49. And then an x is made over here. So what's the greatest common factor of these two guys? Well, 7 times 7 and 40, and the number 4 are not common factors. They're not the same number. So let's look at the x's. Oh, they both contain an x. So that means our greatest common factor is going to be x. So we are going to remove an x with division from each term and put it outside of the parentheses. 4x cubed divided by x, that really looks like this. So one of these x's is going to be going to cancel. I'm going to be left with 4x squared. So that's inside my parentheses. Minus 49x divided by x, the x's would cancel, and I would just be left with 49. So then now, oops, I used a different color parentheses. <laughs> so then now I've looked for my GCF and I found it. Now I'm going to look for special patterns of factoring, like dots, difference of two squares, or difference of perfect squares, right? Um, or perfect square trinomials, we know them as perfs. <laughs> So look and see, are there any dots or perfs? Um, there's definitely a dots, right? I have a perfect square of 4. I have x squared, which is a perfect square. And then I have a perfect square of 49. So in order to further break this one down, I would keep that x out front, the GCF. And then now I would factor. To factor 4x squared minus 49, I'm going to think of the factors that, when multiplied together, have a B term that cancels. Oops, that's too many parentheses. And end up looking like this. So the square root of 4 is 2. That's where the 2's came from. The square root of x squared is x. That's where the x came from. And the square root of 49 is 7. That's where the 7 came from. And then they need to have a different sign because the B term needs to disappear. There's no term in the middle here. So your answer would just be x times 2x plus 7 times 2x minus 7. The end.